The ladies' lounge at Mona is surrounded by green silk curtains and contains valuable artwork. The entrance is guarded and only people who identify as women are allowed in. There are exceptions. The lounge is staffed by male butlers who serve the women inside. It was designed by artist Kirsha Keshela, wife of Mona owner David Walsh. A place for women to retreat to, to escape the patriarchy, to enjoy the company of each other and indulge in a beautiful experience. And I think that the rejection of men is a very central and important part of the artwork. On the 1st of April last year, Jason Lau visited Mona and was denied entry to the lounge. He complained it breaches discrimination laws. The matter has been heard by the Tasmanian Civil and Administrative Tribunal, with a large group backing Mona's stance to the beat of Robert Palmer's Simply Irresistible. The hearing really felt like a living, it felt like the art coming to life. It was a living part of the work. Mona is not denying that Mr Lau has been disadvantaged. I agree that the discrimination results in a real de detriment because he doesn't get to experience what's in there. But it argues the lounge promotes equal opportunity by addressing a long history of women being barred from male-only spaces, like the exclusion of women from public bars, which in some parts of the country wasn't lifted until 1970. Jason Lau says he was not informed when he paid his $35 entry fee to Mona that he'd be denied access to the lounge. And he says it's not clear that the artwork does promote equal opportunity. The tribunal will hand down its decision at a later date. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News.